The Revelations of Love is a concept album about love, starting from the discovery of a new romance, leading further into the different stages and situations. Maybe even parallel universes you could be finding yourself in. There's so much you could say about love and the feelings that run along with it. These are the revelations I've had these past few years. I sing about falling in and out of love and the realization that sometimes it's not always the way you thought it would be. It was very important to me to write these songs. I feel like I've evolved as a person and challenged myself writing lyrics from the naive kind of light feelings to the bitterness that blossoms from a broken heart. I've had many revelations the last year making this album. And one of those is that depth doesn't only lie in the darkness and sadness. True feelings of happiness, joy and togetherness can be just as deep and profound. And the most important revelation of all, you cannot have the one without the other. I grew up in a little town called Nesbyen in Hollingdal. I never really felt like I fit in anywhere, which always made me feel restless and searching for something that was mine. Something that could make me feel a bit more home. And I think I really found that in music and art. When I look back, I feel like it was a really great and safe place to grow up. But I honestly hated it a lot when I was younger. I think a lot of young people, from small places especially, can feel the same about their hometown in some way or another. I always felt like I was a bit different and weird, and I struggled a lot with accepting that. I even remember times where I tried to not be myself. I think that's so sad and I truly wish that there was someone there who could have told me that it's okay to be different and that it's okay to want something different. I have later learned that being yourself is your superpower, and I'm very grateful for accepting that. When I started to find my path in high school, my dedication grew and I felt like nothing could stop me. I moved to study music production in Bergen, and I learned more and more to love where I came from and realized how special it was and how much it has shaped me as a person and as a musician. I've always had the forest around me, waterfalls and birds singing to me, endless nights with a clear view of the stars in the sky, my mom playing loud 80s pop music through the house while doing chores, hours and hours of making up songs as I walk through the tall grass by our house. It has made me who I am and who I am is always changing. I was so fascinated by the city when I moved here and how it always feels alive. 
Here is where I for real started to explore electronic music and where I decided I wanted to create my own sonic universe. I love synthesizers, catchy melodies and heavy hypnotic beats. It makes me feel alive. When I studied music production, I met Eirik. We started working together and we've been a little team ever since. He has helped me produce a lot of the tracks on the album and has also mixed all of the songs. He also helped me produce my two previous EPs, Spaces and Circles. And the stars, they know, they can see it all From the start to the end and nevermore After I released my second EP Spaces, I got messages from people telling me how they needed to hear these songs to either dance with their tears or the words to explain what they were feeling. Which made me realize how important it is to make art from what you're experiencing. These past few years have contained so many of my first time experiences. We have traveled to different countries and cities, played festivals and concerts, written a bunch of songs. I've experienced my first real bad heartbreak. I've fallen in love again, I've written this album, and now it's yours. These are my revelations of love. So you across the room, I know you felt it too.